Okay, we're here with Danielle for a testimonial. And these are the pictures at the start of the program. You can see that her face was bright red and you can't tell too much, but her hands in the back of her wrist were bright red. And if you look closely, you can see that her feet and legs uh, were bright red, but that was all over her entire body. She's here today to tell us her story. So Danielle, let's see your legs now. All right, so the rashes are all gone. She's just finished a workout. She does, is it, is it mountain biking, racing? Yeah, mountain biking, uh, downhill, BMX, and dirt jumps. <laughs> and motorcycles, of course. Okay. Well, tell us your story. Uh, so it started a couple years ago. I was tested positive for herpes, and I had an outbreak every time I had my cycle. So and wanting to stop the outbreaks, I got an IUD, which was Skylar birth control. And then six months after that, I started developing these little rashes all over my body. I didn't know what they were, so I went to the doctors to get tested, and they didn't know what it was either. So a year goes by and I got worse, as you saw, and nobody still knew what was going on. And I got to the point where I was so fed up and tired and covered in rashes and hives, I didn't know what to do. So I came to Dr. Hoyt. <laughs> And we figured out through extensive blood tests and urine samples and stool samples that I have some weird, crazy food allergies like asparagus and blueberries and uh, spinach <laughs> and vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> but getting rid of all that food out of my diet has made my skin better and taking all the things that I'm supposed to be taking and doing what I'm supposed to be doing has turned my skin better again so I feel much better and now that the IUD has been removed and I've been doing Dr. Hoy's program and keeping healthy and doing what I'm supposed to be doing I am better now <laughs> and I feel good too. So how has that affected your cycle? What was going on with your cycle? With my cycle it was very heavy and painful like it would get to the point where I would double down in pain just to my knees in the fetal position and I've actually thrown up from my cycle before because it was so bad and now that everything is starting to calm down and I'm feeling better it's actually a little bit not noticeable anymore first first day is always the worst but it's not anything like it was before it's very light and not noticeable and it's kind of nice <laughs> awesome any other uh, discoveries along the way or things that uh, you can share that got better? Um, sleep or anxiety or yeah, my sleep the breakouts got with the herpes? Yeah, my sleep got better. Um, I sleep seven nights out of seven now. I go to sleep and I stay asleep and I'm remembering my dreams, which is cool and they're really weird. <laughs> How was that before? I couldn't sleep before. I'd wake up scratching and I'd probably sleep like maybe two nights out of seven and I wouldn't stay asleep. I'd just wake up just clawing at myself until I bled. So my sleep has 100% improved. Um, and the herpes outbreaks? The herpes outbreaks are going away. I had one last major one back in January, which I had my very last hive breakout, which was the worst one that I've seen. and. After that, my herpes outbreak is so much better now. Like, I don't have it, and that's really important because it's very detrimental in my life. <laughs> How about mood and emotion? I don't cry at anything anymore. I actually cry when I'm supposed to cry. <laughs> um, I don't snap at my boyfriend or my family or anybody anymore. I've learned, like, you know, to calm down. Everything that has happened to me is kind of calmed me down. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the blood testing, uh, we found that uh, your hormones were certainly very far out of balance and high in the testosterone department. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, we've worked to balance that. That's great. Yeah, that was a, a little scary how high that blue line went. <laughs> One of the other diagnoses was positive for Hashimoto's. Yes. So an attack, uh, an autoimmune attack against your thyroid gland. And so how, how are we doing in the energy department? Doing a lot better. I have a lot more energy than I have had in a long time, like two years, which is really good. <laughs> um, How's that translate into racing uh, 
I haven't raced yet, but um, I kind of want to because I'm starting to feel like I can get back out there and wear my pads again. And now I feel irritated with my skin and like sweating actually feels good to me because it doesn't sting my skin anymore. <laughs> and what I understand is that this condition was so problematic that uh, you were unable to work. Yeah, I haven't been able to work in a year and I was sent to the emergency room three times. Well, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Yes. We're proud of you. Way to work hard at this. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. <laughs>